What's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge, and I'm going to let y'all know who we have in the lounge today. Today, we got some more info regarding the takeoff's death, E! News Violated, Roland Ray, Krishan Rock Boo, all right, and Jaden and China, Nipsey Hussle's baby mother, all right? So, let's get straight into uh, the tea. So, y'all already know what happened to takeoff. Everybody on the internet is playing investigator. Nobody has caught the shooter yet, and somebody spoke up, anonymous, and we are about to hear what this lady had to say because she was present when everything was going down. Here we go. Real quick, and yes. I'm going to try not to give out my identity. Um, We were all there when okay. all this happened. I just left from HPD. First of all, in order to be around Jazz Prince, you have to be searched. None of us had guns, but Jazz, but jazz people had guns. Okay? All of this about this was over a dice game. This started in fifth ward around 9 30 10 last night so oh. this had nothing to do with no damn dice game with no money situation or anything like that and the only reason why i'm not going to great details because i live in houston and the prince family know me but all of this that they're saying about oh well this was a sacrifice no this was a argument between two camps and it wasn't even between two camps because takeoff and Quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the people who were arguing. Oh. So, and so everybody's saying, oh, well, this is Quavo fault. Quavo had nothing to do with the y'all talking about, bro. Y'all was not there when this happened. It, it, it had nothing to do with that. So all these 30 second videos that they're seeing, this and that, everybody's saying, well, he didn't act the way how he act whenever, um, uh, take off got shot. Did, did they tell you he passed the f out? Did they tell you we had to help him to the car? Did they tell you that? Like nobody is 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 really talking about the real that's going on. But I'm gonna tell you this, and I'll leave it at that. The only people who had firearms that night was the camp who protect jazz. That's all I'm gonna say. Do not know if this is the jazz prince that she is referring to because this is the person that, you know, is involved, CEO of Young Empire Music Group. And he says this, I never like to hear about things like this happening anywhere, especially in my city. And to my family, when I got woken up with a call about this, I couldn't believe it. I'm with you, my brother Quavo. Prayers to all who are hurting. Rest in peace take off all right now i do not know if this is the prince that she's talking about because jazz prince i'm putting it together i'm assuming that it's him because he's you know linked with everybody he's a ceo of you know the label so i don't know what's going on clearly he's stating that he was not there he wasn't aware of anything until he was woken up about it now offset currently changed his d4 picture to take off and letting people know he's thinking about him Yo, why the F the E! News post offset picture talking about Migos rapper Takeoff dead at 28? Huh? Migos rapper Takeoff dead at 28. This is not Takeoff. Who is responsible for this mess? Look what people have to say. Does E! News have any black journalists? Did they apologize for posting a pic of offset and not Takeoff? Exactly. So, no apology, no nothing. You don't think Offset and Quavo have other things on their mind? This is their family member. It just shows you couldn't care less. Just another story. So, y'all not going to take accountability and apologize for the terrible mistake of identity on your behalf by originally posting a picture of Offset? You guys only benefit from the culture, but will never respect this. Shaking my head. Your social, editorial, whatever team needs to do better. There's no reason Offset's picture should be displayed on a post about takeoffs passing. It's insensitive to both of them, their families. And it's given we think all black people look alike and can't tell them apart vibes. Wow. Somebody also says disrespectful and distasteful. Y'all shared a picture of Offset at first and you need to apologize. Shaking my head. E! News really posted Offset picture with the takeoff story. Get the F out of here. I agree. I feel like that disrespectful. Know the person that you're talking about or know the person that the information that you're trying to put out. Like, how do you get the identities wrong? There's two different people. Like, what is going on with the world? Get it together, E! News. All right? <laughs> yes, we got Rolling Ray up in the building with some news for y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Purr. Purr, y'all. It's Gizm is posting a rap. Gabe. So y'all, I'm working on my debut album. This is my first ever 
Alga per capital for me per so I'm coming for all these who ever had this time to say about me but I'm also I'm gonna give y'all some bops and some much jams for it's time to finish these what's and for what oh and the friends nothing to say and the exes still over there do I care no oh <laughs> Soon and soon for the new album. I don't know about y'all, but I like Roller Ray. He is funny as F, for real, for real. But let's get straight into what people got to think about Roller Ray's news. Somebody says, friend, I need this album by like tomorrow. Purr. Somebody also says, yes, give us the bops. All right. Now, you get on my nerves, for real. I can't wait to listen though all right because roller ray got his supporters i absolutely positively love you seriously you need your own show love this makeup and hair they didn't come to play as given i came to end these girls by getting a bag purr so how you feel about all this mess going on all right so y'all know roller ray has fans everybody got their fan base now oh my god purr i'm literally your biggest fan Love you. Look at the DMs I sent you, please. Let me get a feature so we can eat the rap girlies up. Purr. Now, call me late or whatever, but I did never knew Roller Ray did music. Like, I, I literally did not never know. But I'm here for it. Everybody deserves a chance. Let's see how the album goes. Because either way it goes, it could be a hit or a miss. But Roller Ray in himself has a... A big personality. Everybody is drawn to it. And um, especially when Bobby and um him was on the conversation, this was the funniest ever. Like I literally was having tears come out my eyes when they was going back and forth with each other. Like, like it's just ridiculous. But I'm so happy that Roland Ray and Bobby Lice decided to do the show. You know, Bobby, I love you per they, you know, gained a friendship and a bond, and I'm all here for it. Positive vibes all day. Now, y'all know the shenanigans with Blueface or Kashawn Rock or whatever the case may be. And she was with that, you know, suave mente. Yep, Rico Suave. She was definitely with him, okay? Spotted at the game, at the after party, whatever. Now, it seems like Kashawn Rock brother Mook posted this and, and tagged Rico. I guess Rico's playing basketball or whatever the case may be. Rico puts, I want to eat with you, not off you. Now, it might just be me, but I'm thinking that's a sub because everybody's saying Blueface, you know is eating off of rock which is true rico is in the studio letting everybody know that he's still doing whatever that he was doing before now rico suavemente clearly seems unbothered he just wants y'all to know that he had a life before Christian rock or Blueface or anybody was involved but y'all already know if you get involved in that entanglement or whatever it is be prepared for the talking and the investigation yep because it definitely comes with them too now, he's still following Krishan Rock, which I know was a shocking. But Krishan Rock, of course, unfollowed Rico because why would Blueface in his right mind allow her to do such a thing? Now, somebody said, is Blue threatening you because he put a video out? Whatever, you know, people was going to assume. He said, the reaching is sad for real. Now... Every time I post something, y'all gonna think it's about them. I got my own life and experiences I've been through. I don't play with people's lives on the internet. I got about six gigabytes worth drafts been waiting for me to post. This has nothing to do with them people. I thought I was feeling you. I fucked up, but let me tell you something about me, okay? I'm fucked You don't have to try to play like you like me and you don't like me and stuff like that. Now, we all know people sub people online. A lot of people are not going to admit to it because that's the reason why they subbing. They're trying to be on the low with it, whatever. I personally think that some of the things that he did put out there, you know, refers to Krishan Rock and Blueface in the situation, period. Because why not? Like, why wouldn't nobody? <laughs> like, that's just what it is. But I said what I said. That's what I think, okay? Now, I think Jade and Alexis is doing some subs regarding her baby daddy blue face. And this is just my outside looking in. All right. Now, y'all already know she had fun at the Halloween bash she was at. She was a boxer. She had Freddy Cougar behind her and it's not blue face. She posted this, y'all. Somebody says, well, my BD and I are good. We're Bonnie and Clyde. But when we beefing, it's old block and 63rd. I'm old block. She says, laughing my butt off. You know what? Now, she also says this. 
Man, when somebody said, really, I just want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my BD, really knock that guy jaw loose. Guess she feeling some way about her baby daddy because she only has one. Now, she probably says, you was in a club with a guy, huh? Come outside. Now, this is not her text, but this is this post, all right? And she laughing at the post, maybe regarding Blueface. This is probably what he do with her. Now, we do not know, but we knew know that Jaden Alexis is still messing with her baby daddy. Of course, she never stopped messing with him. So, I don't understand why people were shocked or people bashing her. She is the baby mother. She's probably still in love with him. A lot of women do not care, okay? She wants to deal with him because that's her choice. Nobody is forcing her. And Blueface is definitely not forcing her. But it seems like Blueface has some type of hold on these women. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sex. Maybe it's the sex. Or maybe it's the sex. Because what? But anyways, I don't know what's going on. She's going to do what she want to do. But let's see what these subliminals is going to lead to. Because at the end of the day, I'm still waiting for that interview she did with Megan James. So I can talk about it. I want to hear all the tea. All right? And I know y'all do too. All right? So let's get into it. Now we got Nipsey Hussle's baby mother China with some court documents and saying some stuff. And people are like, huh? Like, what is she doing again? Now, I blew it up for y'all, but this is basically a visitation order, which the father box is checked. And I guess this is the visitation schedule. Um, You know, I don't know what she's trying to say. Then this part right here is just saying um, there's no criminal protective order and everything else is blank. Okay. It says visitation order for the juvenile, which is the daughter that they share. Okay. Do not know if this is old or new because Nipsey Hussle has been passed away. So I don't know what she's trying to do. But we shall see what people are going to say about this because it sounds like people are tired of her. Why is it so quiet now, she says. She also says staying 10 toes down for people will still get you effed over. Hmm. Now listen to what people have to say. Dang, that's sad. She's going through visitation with her own daughter. Now somebody also says she's still going. Somebody says not today, sis. It's enough going on. What does she want? What am I looking at? I mean, that is her child, all right? Now, I'm sure there are better ways to handle this, but if the judge didn't see you fit to raise your own child, then what are we supposed to do about it? The box mark at the top would indicate that this was a visitation schedule for the father, so how old is this document exactly? She's so determined to uproot her own child for five minutes of fame and a little change. She needs to leave that child where she is properly taken care. All right. So somebody also says she could have found a PDF online and did this herself. This just court papers. His daughter was old enough to choose when she wanted to go to her dad's, which was all the time. She's been down bad years before Nipsey passed. The kid is like 13. Ask her where she feel comfortable living. All right, so basically she has a choice. Girl, lay down, take a perk, but you really be coming in at the wrong time. Sick of her. Your daughter old enough to make the decision of who she wants to be with. Be for real. She want visitation so that she can lock that little girl outside again. Now, I do not know what's going on with the situation, but clearly that document that she showed, is just showed that Nipsey had visitations. Which he doesn't have no more because he's not here anymore. So I don't understand. Clearly the daughter is not in her care. She's probably with his family. And she's upset. So I don't understand what she's trying to prove. If y'all understand what she's talking about, let me know down in the comments below. Because all I see from this situation is that she's hurting. She want her child back. And she's miserable. And she's going online thinking that we can do something about it. In all reality, the court documents, however old that is, stated what it was. Okay? Now that's it. Now let's do a recap of everything that was going on and some more of my input. When it comes to the takeoff with the information with the anonymous woman coming out, you know, I feel like why isn't nobody really catching the shooter? Like, it's only a but so much people that was there that was involved. Nobody wants to talk because nobody want to be considered a snitch. They don't want to put their life at jeopardy, understandable. But it's like, come on now, everybody worrying about the street cred and, the, and, the, and the, all that stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure um, Quavo and everybody knows who shot or who was um, maybe suspects. Like, come on. If you really care about your friend, I'll be snitching. I don't care what nobody say. Call it what you want. Rolling Ray, I'm all here for it. We shall see what 
album he comes out with and what bops he got to give us. Jaden Alexis is always going to throw subs at her baby father. She seems mad or whatever the case may be. She's not the one making a fool out of herself like Krishan Rock doing every day over this man. But she is on the low doing it in her own way. Okay? But that's just what it is. Krishan Rock little boo or it was a soon to be boo. You know, it, it was what it was. It ended. We do not know because, you know, people do end up being sneaky links and trying to be sneaky, trying to see the other person. But I don't think that Krishan Rock is going to want to do that. But at this point, I don't even know because clearly she didn't care about that when she did it in the first place, knowing that Blueface was going to go off. Just like she go off when Blueface do things. So I don't know how that's going to go, y'all. But <laughs> it's going to be a whole mess. All right. So I don't know, y'all. But anyways, I love the fact that I have my supporters, even the haters y'all still you know keep me going regardless of whatever it is but i just want y'all to know that opinions are opinions i have mine you have yours we could agree to disagree but life still goes on right it's never that serious to try to come at me disrespecting me because you disagree all right like it just shows that you're bitter and pressed like <laughs> But I love all my supporters and even the haters. It is what it is. But I just want y'all to know what y'all think about this video. Everything that was said. If you have any information to, you know, put onto this, let me know. And always make sure to stay tuned. Get that popcorn, have a seat. And get ready for this tea. Alright? Because that's what I give. And I give my thoughts. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.